Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. If you think you're going down, you gotta get off. Did you ever scrub the footy and see if you guys were in the BG? I only shit in potted plants. And watch how far down my throat this can go. Strap in. Here we go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Okay, oh. that's all we got. But that was a good groove. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's all we can I afford. I thought it was coming in right there with the lyrics. It's all we can afford. Damn. What's up, my boys? Is that Thin Lizzy? Thin, Thin Lizzy? Thin. Guess who just got back today? Answer Tia. Thin Lizzy. Now, I feel like a lot of big bands or, 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 or bands that are super successful from that era talk about Thin Lizzy in ways that they're like, and then there was Thin Lizzy. Dude. But I don't know any other Thin Lizzy songs. Oh, my God. Their albums are so fire. They yeah. are so fire. Cover to cover. Like, they just, oh, oh, my gosh. I admittedly don't know a lot about Thin Lizzy. Didn't also, I, I texted Durs this. I didn't know a lot about the Beastie Boys. Here we go. Admit it, it late. Okay. All right. What's up? Well, I just knew that I just liked, you know, how people just like the Beastie Boys. I never, right. like, really went down a rabbit hole with the Beastie right. Boys. And I watched that documentary that Durst told us to watch that came out in, like, in 2020. You watch this. And it was so fucking good, dude. Really? Right. Require, it's required viewing. Oh, my God. Really? I, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's Adam... Uh, Driver. No. Driver. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I remember their names. Adam Driver and Mike... <laughs> McCoy? Dynamite driver, <laughs> driver, Mike Driver. I want to say Diamond, but I think it was Epps. I think it was Mike Epps. Mike Epps, Adam Driver, <laughs> yeah. And uh, the two remaining members of the Beastie Boys, and yeah. they uh, are just on stage, and then they like throw to like dope videos and old photos from their past, and then yeah. tell yeah. stories about it. It's really, really interesting. Really, yeah. oh, perfect. That's cool. I didn't know shit about. I really didn't know anything. I thought they like were homies with Rick Rubin. It seems like they don't like that guy at all. Uh, yeah, and really, they have beef. Well, what's this? Well, Rick Rubin was like original, right? Yeah. Original. Uh, it's a little bit. You know, it was coded beef, but wasn't Rick Rubin original? Like he was kind of a fourth at the beginning. Wait, no. he rapped? Well, no. Wasn't there something like that? No, Durs, Durs needs to tell the the history. Yes. Okay. The, our historian. Okay. Durs it. No, wait. Durs, let Kyle let Kyle tell his part first and then you correct. No, no, okay. no. Durs yeah. can go, because I don't know. I just know he was like in the in the, the DNA group? of the beginning. So look, he, here's a little story I like I'd like to tell. Yes. Towards the beginning, yes. Okay. Here oh. we go. Okay, good. About three <laughs> three white guy rappers. <laughs> about three about three bad brothers. Um no, Rick okay. Rubin produced their first album. Rick mm -hmm. Rubin was a Is that girls? Yeah, all those. All those shirts. Sure. Uh, but he was producing for Def Jam, Run DMC, LL mm. Cool J, a bunch of mm. people like out of his dorm mm. right. at uh NYU. So NYU, yeah. And he wasn't he like uh. how was he homies with Russell Simmons? They were partners, right? Yeah, yeah, but he started producing for Def Jam. I mean, like, mm -hmm. think think about this. College kid, white dude, eight mm -hmm. early eighties, yeah, producing hip hop records from his dorm. Yeah. Unreal. Like hustle. What is the movie that is about that time period where Rick Rubin plays himself? Have you seen that? It's Whoa. like a way, it's something that they made no. I don't know. at that time huh? to promote all their artists. And the Beastie Boys are actually in this movie as well. Uh, from way back? And it's about, yeah, yeah. It's like early Def Jam. And that's, a, it's a way back Wapap? Is it a Wapap or? Oh, is that a way back Wapap? <laughs> is this a dream? It's like uh, way back what pap? No, it's not like wild Whoa, style. Whoa, it's not Whoa, like fuck, uh, fuck. I hate myself for not knowing this. I hate you for not knowing. Like it. I'm fucking. <laughs> I hate myself for loving you, Kyle. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I I am angry at myself.
here we go. Crush, crush groove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Crush groove. That's the one. Crush groove. Crush groove. Okay. Cool. Hey, I found something else I have to watch. And that's crush with a K for all our listeners. If you're trying to look mm. up crush groove. But it was. Mm. I think the movie. The idea was like it, it's a marketing attempt at early Def Jam, and Rick Rubin plays himself. Yeah. It's what Pat. Right about hip hop too. Well, it was so cool, like how, how like just dialed in they were by going like, okay, hip hop is taking off in eighties in America. The way to make it go mainstream is to get three white guys to basically do it, Mm -hmm. and Rick Rubin facilitated that with Russell Simmons. And basically, from what the documentary, what I got from the documentary was that they like. They weren't taken seriously by Rick Rubin and Russell Simmons, and they were kind of just like the party boys, and they just sort of wanted several albums of them doing that. Correct. And they were like, we want to grow and be, you know, become a better artist. And they were like, nah, we don't want that. Give us uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> really want is girls. Whenever that song would come on at like a fucking school dance or whatever, I was like, this is the worst Beastie Boys song See? ever. It actually has come back for me now. I love when that song goes off in the club. It really is a banger. That little bing, 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 bing. Well, the melody is iconic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking xylophone shit. It's the worst. It's the worst. That's a killer song to mosh to. It's a great song to mosh to. Why is it? Why do you think it's the worst, though? What's the... I gotta know, because I do kind of dig the the run. I mean, you've listened to it, right? And I'm not even trying to be... I'm not even trying to be, like, fucking... Well, the lyric. It's the lyrics. I know. I know. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Wow. That Durs, guy. Bro- brother Durs hating woke. on the Beastie Boys. I love this. Yeah. No one is safe. I just wanted to see if that was it. I get it. Uh, well, essentially, if you watch... Hey, if you watch the documentary, they're not that proud of that song yeah. either. It totally makes oh, sense. sorry, Mom! No, that song is rad. But for for me, it was always just corner, uh, corny. Um and it's just on a corner, bro. Just chill. Yeah, no, yeah. it's a corner. It was dude. corner. <laughs> For me, yeah, so I like, I like straight lines. New, got... new lexicon, bro. Yeah, Look. dude, that shit's corner. It's just corner. It's just yeah. kind of on a corner. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even on Broadway. <laughs> hey, it's it's all like, yo, everybody, look at me. I'm on the corner. <laughs> I yeah. like that. I like it. Um, yeah. Shout out, common. It's definitely like a, a mainstream song, so it's probably like way played out. Of course it is, because it's it's not even that it's played out. It's that it isn't good. That's like Thin Lizzy, though. Like, the boys are back in town. Probably, like, that song, when I hear it, I, I don't really love it. That's a much better song than Girls. Okay, I'll get Yeah, Girls isn't that no. great of a song. Like, the lyrics are pretty, Girls like- is back. Girls is back. He goes, guess who's back in town? I'm like, who? It's I'm waiting back. to find out. It's the boys. The boys Dude. are back in town. Girls to do the dishes. Girls to do the laundry. Girls yeah. to clean up my room. Yeah. <laughs> girls in the bathroom. It's like. Okay. I don't listen to the lyrics. Uh, oh, you don't listen to the lyrics? <laughs> no. Thank that's... you, misogynist fuck. Yeah. We caught you, dude. No, the chorus goes. <laughs> we caught. We set the trap and you walked right in. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, if somebody's smart, they'll do like a remix to it that are Lizzo. Like girls to lead this world. <laughs> right. Girls. Uh Yonce looking at you. Re um, re. No, nah, it's Lizzo. That's a Lizzo move. That's a Lizzo move. <laughs> oh, shit. Rick Rubin's about to produce that. I mean, somebody yeah. should actually. Um <laughs> yeah. and just Ooh. reclaim, reclaim the mm. anthem. Because the xylophone baby. melody is fucking sick. Bing. Wait, so Blake, you like that song. I'm gonna ask you this. Yes. Do you like Girls by the Beastie Boys or do you like or bet or do you think Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by Cindy Lauper is a better song? No, I don't like that song. I don't like Cindy La- No, I don't like ding, ding, ding. That's it's too uh it's too eighties for me and I'm a nineties boy. Well, you know that the Beastie Boys that album came out in the the heart of the eighties. But it yeah. but it doesn't sound eighties to me. Like 
ding, 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 ding. Like just to like uh, I don't know. Like, what? I don't know why this is that. subjective as <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Oh. Hey, personal opinion. I don't like that song by Cindy Lauper. Right. No. It was wow. a question asked and answered. <laughs> I. She's a fake ass Madonna to me. If we're really getting into it. Oh shit. I would much rather listen to Madonna's first album. That is hammers. What's another song by? Yeah, well, Madonna's Madonna fucking rocks. Well, ha hang on. Have you listened to Cindy Lauper's first album? No, I haven't actually. So it's I take it all back. <laughs> I formed. I formed very. It's in the top 500 albums of all time according to Rolling Stone magazine. Well, there's a lot of albums out there. I form very strong opinions without having any information or listening. So I yeah. feel like a freaking <laughs> doofus right now. I, I should be Me on the too. corner right now, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, dude, you're on the corner right now, homie. Yeah, you're on the corner, bro. You always um, big corner. Bro. Yo, you're up on that corner. <sighs> Put my ass on Put, the corner. You always big corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Cindy La I mean, I feel like I'm getting... The fact that Captain Lou Albano himself is in the music video for Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, and that's Damn. not... That's what, not doing what? anything for you, huh? Lou Albano <sighs> rocks, dude. <laughs> I got to look that guy up because I know what he looks like. I know who he is, but as far as like what he is, I'm I'm not. He had rubber bands in his beard. Yeah, yeah that was the a, end. a classic move. Yeah. <laughs> the end, he yeah, said. he's cool. <laughs> he was just a wrestling manager, which is the coolest job. No. He wrestled, didn't he? I don't know. It wasn't my era, bro. It wasn't my era. Dude, he's a 90s boy, remember? He wrestled, I believe. Yeah, I'm Coco Beware. I'm Tatanka. Captain Lou Albano was a wrestler and a manager. He had to. You don't get a Who name that? like Captain without managing something. I think he managed natural disasters when he hung up his boots. <laughs> Earthquake right? and typhoon? <laughs> oh, earthquake and typhoon, yeah. Right? Didn't he? Oh my god. I love when we talk pro wrestling, my brother. I'm so it's <laughs> way over my head. I don't know. And whenever we talk pro wrestling, I have no idea what's happening. Which is weird because Adam should be a pro wrestler. Earthquake was the guy who was like had a massive gut, and you're like, where's his dick? <laughs> yeah, get on there, yoga. Earthquake was so fat and he would jump around the ring and make it shake. And yeah. then his finisher was he just sat on you right <laughs> yeah, well that's a tight that i mean admittedly i do like i think why i don't like wrestling is okay. my least my least favorite cousin likes wrestling and oh, yeah, well. uh i was i was actively like give well, me a hell yeah and he cut, tried to convince me that it was real when i was like seven and i'm like and he right. truly thought it was real and he's it like is. 10 years older than me right. and so i was like Oh, you're dumb, though. Right. right. We didn't have to have that. I'll be in the backyard making pipe bombs. You keep watching <laughs> wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You want to know what's real? I wish this was real, and then you <laughs> stuck your dad's <laughs> hunting on that. <laughs> this oh, is real. Uh, but no, I get in theory, I should love wrestling. I'm, yeah. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't just jump on the ship with him. you never it's having a, it's having a moment right now too so is I'm it stoked, is it I'm stoked for all the people who've been watching the whole time mm -hmm. uh you know now it's in the spotlight hey, and are, then they'll stick with it when it fades again are we are we pulling up i don't know when this pod drops but maybe we already pulled up are we pulling up to what to what what are you saying you keep saying pulling up what does that mean what what what's the event is it the are we pulling up my guys yeah Pull, pulling up her pants? You're sagging your pants. Wait, WrestleMania? You, yes, sir. Yes. Where's WrestleMania? Where is it? Yeah, when is it? SoFi, baby. What's going on? Wait, do you know what's happening in the storylines and shit? Do you know? April 1st. Dude, oh. Let's okay. go. Yeah, I'll be around. Oh, that, yeah, that'd be tight. Dude, right. let's yeah. pull up. Let's get a box at WrestleMania and just go ham what are the storylines who's out there right now who's Damn. doing what is there anything interesting happening why is it having a uh, moment i dude i i bet <laughs> yeah dude like probably <laughs> the rock no, probably, this is probably no the way rock. there isn't this is good probably the rock probably the rock's gonna pull up there's no way to tell but uh yeah guaranteed like cool stuff's happening i thought that it was like i thought was logan paul i thought i saw logan paul was at the event. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Way to. But that doesn't quite interest me that much. That doesn't put your butt in the seat. I hate to say it. No, it doesn't. 
Jake Paul lost a boxing fight. That was the a match. That was that was rough. Maybe the Paul stock went down for you. You're 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 not on the Paul train no more. You're not a Paul bearer. Paul bearer. <laughs> oh, Undertaker. It all comes full circle. I don't. I never. I, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the bearer of bad news. Oh, yes, I don't, yes, points. I don't know. It doesn't interest me enough to like go to WrestleMania. I guess. It, I bet it's a blast. But this blows my mind, Kyle. You used to have backyard wrestling. Yeah, the fact that you're like, if you have to know the storylines, right? it's WrestleMania, so it's just going to yeah. be insane. That was the whole. Po that was what I loved about it was the drama, though. If I'm not in on the drama, I'm not real. Like I was an NWO wow. light. I am an NWO light. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a fun thing to go to. All you got to do is watch two weeks of Before Monday Night life. Raw and catch up. Yeah, it doesn't take much to and hop back in. I know. That's what I'm trying to do right now. But uh, but you don't know anything. Don't try. <laughs> do it. <laughs> so oh, none of us know anything. It would be. It, I don't know anything about a wrestling. And I would like to go <laughs> to WrestleMania just because it would be fucking cool. Yeah, you don't have to know shit. I thought I'm talking to my friend Blake. I thought Blake <laughs> might know something. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think Roman Reigns is still the champ. A lot of like fans didn't doesn't mm. really like Roman Reigns. I think maybe. Oh, he's reading. You could tell he. Yeah, he's reading it. No, I swear to God, Todd just dropped that. Yeah, no, Todd uh -huh. just dropped Roman it. Reigns has been the champ for a long time, and a lot of people don't really fuck with him for some reason. I don't know why. He's a very good wrestler. Okay. But... He's got like the beard and the sleek back hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe the Rock might drop in. By the way, I could be describing any wrestler. He's got the beard and the sleep back there. I would go for The Rock. I'd go watch The Rock. It's in L.A., so The Rock's showing up. I'll go uh, for The Rock. The Rock is showing up. That interests me. The bummer is uh, Vince McMahon. Is, is it going to be the first uh, WrestleMania reading? without him? Because he did right. some Me Too shit, didn't he? Like, yeah. Did he jerk off in a potted plant Never or was that a different man? Did he do what? Uh, or he he might have. Yeah, yeah he took a yeah. page out of Louis C.K.'s book and just was J O and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, just let me crank down in a potted plant, right? Quick. I thought that was a Weinstein playbook. <laughs> yeah, who yeah, knows what playbook it is? But hey, I think that's a Weinstein play. Allegedly, um, uh, convicted. I think he's convicted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think he is. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> Durs, Durs, yeah, Durs refuses to admit that Weinstein is all alleged to Durs. <laughs> he stands with Weinstein. <laughs> right, yes, 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 yes. No, no. I, I, we, all I'm saying is we don't need to, like, cross around. Like, he fucking jizzed in a plant, right? Who knows? Allegedly. No, I want to know. I want to know the playbook. I, I want to know, too. I don't want to just be saying. It's possible he did. I'm not oh, saying he did or possible. did it, but it's possible. I think he was convicted. I think he did. Plausible. No. Possible. Wait, Ooh. why was... No, Vince McMahon. Not No, Vince McMahon. Yeah. No. Oh, right. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought we were still talking Weinstein. My B. Well, I want to know... Wait, why did he? <laughs> why was a detail that surfaced the the potted plant? Why are we all very aware of the potted plant? Well, like just because that's one. like well, obviously anything else is like really like sad if you right. know pressuring things into uh, people into doing things they don't right. want to do. It's it's yes. fucked up. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Uh, or whatever. I don't really know his whole story or exactly what he did, but he's in prison right. for a long time, so I think he's yes. he's really fucked up. He's gonna melt in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely crumble to dust. But jerking off in a potted plant is like a a kind of a like a funny thing. So yeah. like, yeah, that is kind of wild. Yeah, you don't forget that. All right. Yeah, you you don't forget it. I like to think. It was like a tomato plant. I only shit in potted plants. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I like to think it was like a tomato yeah. plant and <laughs> fucking. I hope the uh, owner of Dirty N uh, Nellies comes after me for shitting in their uh, potted plant. Yeah, dude. Dirty Nellies in Costa Mesa. But that's fertilizer. That's it fertilizer. is, actually. Wait, but we can all agree that Vince McMahon is a mad scientist. And. Allegedly! Will this. Yeah, that's true. He's not actually a scientist or mad. <laughs> Uh, will this so stack up? Will this stack up to will what? Will this stack up to the to the last thirty years of inside his brain? Mm. Oh, WrestleMania! I uh, I mean, yeah, it, it you know I feel like that it just sort of runs itself at this point. It doesn't. He's like super duper crazy hands on. 
and like he runs all the storylines and like I, I met with a writer a few years ago for this like uh rock project oh freddie prince jr well we got to get into that <laughs> what I'm, so hey so wait what's side, up sidebar moving on <laughs> okay a and e the channel <laughs> this is, is now all... just like the wrestling biography channel mm -hmm. i love that and i am hooked oh, all these people sick. they have the greatest stories you've ever heard whether they're like nobody's from some farm or they're from like three generations of wrestlers like the yeah. hearts to have a fucking document oh yeah it's, they're all amazing like yep. bret hart not kevin hart uh, Kevin Hart Correct. is actually <laughs> one of the. He's part yeah. of the Hart Foundation. Yeah. They're bringing I'm watching, you back. <laughs> I'm watching some do some documentary they have the other day where they're talking about like rivalries, mm -hmm. and the round tables like wrestler, wrestler, somebody I don't know, wrestler, and Freddie Prince Jr. And it says in the Chiron, Freddie Prince Jr., former WWE or WWF writer. What the? And oh, I was like. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. but, and when I posted that, people slid in the DMs. Did you post that the other day? Did you I did, post yeah. that? Yeah, okay. I, I was like... People slid in the DMs <laughs> and were like, if you know, you know. This dude's been around. Really? And, and everybody wow. who's deep in wrestling has an opinion. Well, what popped Freddy off? What? Why do we even have him in our, in our brains? What was Freddy's big thing? Well, his father is a super-duper famous actor from the 70s, but then also yeah. he did uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Yeah, he's... Okay, he's that. Well, he was... Uh, Chloe's first ever project was on Freddy. He played uh, his his daughter. He popped off on Freddy. On the show Freddy. There was a show called Freddy. Yep. Yeah. And, and, that's, and it was just him? But that was, like, yep. after? And that's Freddy Prince 1? Or <laughs> Freddy Prince Jr.'s two. show? No, this is... I think this Junior. is Freddy Prince 2. Jr. was in, like... He had a show called Freddy? The one where they make over the... They make over the girl... What's that one I'm, called? Yes, Blake. How? Why is this? I didn't know either. I feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> now I feel really bad because it's it's crazy that you guys di didn't go back and watch uh, everything All Chloe's of... ever ever done <laughs> when when I started to date her. That's kind of weird. <laughs> You're right. I totally should have. Yeah. We're in the middle of it. We're in the middle of it. I'm a huge fan. I thought her career started at Final Girls. That's where I started. <laughs> That's a no. huge fan. <laughs> I thought that was her, her moment. No, and I was no, like, no, no. this girl is a star, dude. <laughs> and I love Adam and her together on screen. <laughs> I want more. I want oh. a sitcom. Wait, yeah. you don't know that Freddie Prince Jr. was in I Know What You Did Last Summer? I did know that. No, I did know that. That's probably where I where I know his pop off is for me. And like she's the one whatever the one where they made over the nerd to be like the hot girl and uh Yeah, uh, yeah oh she took the glasses name? off and then all of a sudden they're like, Damn And it was Evan Rachel Wood, yeah. Ooh. Uh not Evan Rachel Wood. Ooh. Um it's somebody somebody with three <laughs> names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Wait, three ooh. names. Three names. It's she's all that. Just say three. <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall. Samantha and Raven Jordan Simpson. Rebecca uh, Romaine <laughs> Stamos. No, that's not it. This is interesting. Rachel Man. Lee Cook. There we go. Rachel Lee Cook. Uh, Rachel Lee Cook. Uh, yeah. Let her cook, boy. Let her cook. <laughs> let her girls. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, Rachel Lee Cook. She was one of the first celebrities I I met when I was taking classes at the Groundlings, and the <laughs> cast went out for like, dude, I was there. Drinks. Well, yeah, you, were you there? <laughs> Oh man! Yes, I came and saw your show, and then I remember we were like sitting at a restaurant, and she was there, and I was just starstruck. That's that's right. Yes, that is right. She was one of the. Even though I didn't, you told we me did... like, "Yo, that's right." Weird. Yeah, I told her who she was, who who she was, and then you were just like googly eyed. I'm like, oh damn! <laughs> Although you had never seen anything she's ever been in, you're like, she's in on TV. My God. <laughs> That's such a mom move. Like, you're like, right. mom, look over there. There's that celebrity. Dude. And then you're, all of a sudden your mom's like, oh, yeah. I got to get a picture. <laughs> I'm going over. I'm going over. Well, my mom is like friends with Guy Fieri now. My, dude, Wait, what? Yeah, my what? mom's like homies with him. They dude. like follow each other and shit. Fieri the lead. Uh, yeah, she, <laughs> when my dad was going through uh, chemotherapy in yeah. Houston, we were all down there and staying at a hotel and we saw him. 
alone sitting in a corner like half asleep <laughs> on a corner yeah oh, in, in the corner of the restaurant oh okay i know what you mean <laughs> dude was cornered up talk that shit go ahead he was cornered up <laughs> and my mom's like oh my god i love him and i go what's his name mom and she goes this i've had multiple stories like this with my mom and she goes it's guy and i go guy what and she goes pierce <laughs> right and i go yeah go say what's mm -hmm. up guy pierce and she's like that's right. not his name she's like i'm just gonna go with guy and she goes over tells him our whole life story he comes back over and he goes oh yeah i recognize you so my mom told me all about or told him yeah, all damn. about me and my career and then he was the nicest fucking guy yeah. ever yeah like told my dad like keep his head up and he's going to the best hospital and there's a reason asleep. that they're yeah head there's up a reason up. that yeah. they're uh that Gosh. they're there and he feels good about it and he's getting good vibes from all of us and like he was just a sweetheart, and then I ran Whoa, into him like at a the shaman? Super Bowl. Sounds just like yeah. a, sounds just like any drunk guy. <laughs> was he hammered? Yeah, totally. And then uh, well, that come here, like a shaman. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man, you keep your head sounds up. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. And then we ran into him at the Super Bowl, and he asked how my dad was. He's on the level, man. It sounds like he's on the yeah. level, dude. He's a and I, Kyle, uh, just I'm, for me. Yeah. What does that mean? When people start talking about vibes, that's the level, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. For sure. Well, he's on it for sure. Thank you. Yeah. So guy, and he was right, which was the the cool thing. Dude. And we ran into him at the Super Bowl, and he was like. Out of the blue, he walks over to me, and he was like, hey, how's your dad doing? Mm -hmm. Damn. And he was like, uh, your mom, Penny. And I'm like, wow, you remember my mom? <laughs> and uh, his mom is also named Hold up. Oh, nice. His mom's so name is Penny, too? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Can you, they got can, multiple that shit's important. Can you ask your mom if he's going to WrestleMania, or what's up? Like, <laughs> we're going to see him at WrestleMania. <laughs> bro, he's on the level, bro. You know Dude, he's going. There's a one. He's at every major event that happens in L.A., so there's yeah. a 100% possibility that Guy Fieri will be at WrestleMania. Ooh, I like those chances. This is interesting. It's Flavor Town, baby. He's diners, dives, and drive-ins. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which okay. is a mm -hmm. legendary show. That is okay. the most watchable show ever. I love that show. <laughs> I've never I, seen it. Neither have I, Durs. You've never watched Diners, Drive-ins, and Dashes, or what's it called? <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I have, have either. You? I don't know. What's legendary about it? What is so? What is the folklore of this show? Well, it's cool. You get to go to diners. Drive-ins. What level is it on? Which level is this on? Man? Well, guy, <laughs> it's on the highest level possible, dude. It's. I believe you. Talk to me about it. Is it on the level? It's the guy level. It's on the level. He's basically. I trust guy's tongue. Like this guy knows mm. what tastes mm. good. <laughs> Oh, now we're talking, mm. baby. What what the mouth do? Like, this guy knows what tastes good. Wow. And if he pulls up to your restaurant and he gives you the seal of approval and mm -hmm. stamps it Flavor Town, that Ad you gotta Adam, go. Is that what it is? He gets Flavor Town? Adam, do you feel like you know what tastes good? I, I, yeah, I feel <laughs> yeah. like I, I'm pretty. I feel like I know what tastes good. <laughs> I don't know. Do you trust? Who's, whose tongue do you trust here? Whose tongue do I trust the most? Ooh. Not the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of out of us. Whose Ooh. tongue do you trust? And admittedly, out of out of everyone. Oh, yeah. Whose tongue do, would you trust? Not Let me see your sure. guys' tongues. What that has nothing to do with this. This is taste. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see. No, don't don't wiggle waggle it. Really stick it out. Yeah. Really stick your tongue. <laughs> oh, should we do this? Who's got a weird sharp tongue? <laughs> this is good radio. <laughs> <laughs> this is Adam's got a long tongue when well, he's drinking something. I kind of like Adam's tongue, but it gets a little yellow towards the back. What's going on? Adam's got a cough. He's got a coffee <laughs> tongue, man. Yeah, you got that coffee tongue, bro. <laughs> Not me, I? man. I haven't had coffee in like two and a half weeks. I got no coffee tongue. Damn, look at Durs's wide ass tongue, dude. Well, you don't have a. Uh... Why haven't you not had coffee? That sounds miserable. <laughs> Kyle, stop. Kyle, cross your eyes while you <laughs> cross your eyes. Hey, yeah. no. <laughs> also, Kyle, why is yours so indented? Why do you have such, a, such a you have like a you have a wrinkle in your yeah, tongue, what's like that, a right down a the middle dimple. of it. You guys are gonna yeah, want to tune into YouTube for this one. Yeah. <laughs> tongue talk. What's going on with your tongue, homie? Oh, Dirt's can you do a, a triple, cravat. dude. Dirt's can do a triple fucking fold. Holy <laughs> shit, my man. 
Guys, yeah, tune dude. into YouTube now. Sick. As soon as you can, get to YouTube now. Yeah, you have to like and subscribe to this. Wait. This is the content that Don't you have Wait, all And watch how far down my throat this can go. <laughs> yeah, Durs is going crazy on the YouTube right now. Yeah, we should we deep throat something? <laughs> this is a Patreon app. This app is... Durs is going crazy on... <laughs> Save it for the live, the live show. <laughs> this is this app is becoming Patreon. Pretty, if you guys keep this up. Oh, you gotta tune in quick. <laughs> so Blake, who would uh, taste wise, taste wise, it's to, a bagel. to go back to the question at hand, whose whose tongue do I trust? Whose tongue do you taste? Uh, do you <laughs> whose tongue you want to taste? This is this is how competitive Adam is, by the way. <laughs> whose tongue? We we kind of we kind of barely bring up who's got the best tongue. Is the best. I know. We're moving on. He's like, yeah, but like, but who does though? No, 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 no. Now we have to know. It was a joke, bud. That's all. I mean, I by far no. I mean, mine is, mine is superb. But uh, well, who has the best flavor profile? Would you say? <laughs> oh, so mm. he's actually saying I himself. Oh, so now flavor profile, not just the look of the tongue. No, I hate to mm. say it. I hate to say this, but I think Kyle does. Oh. I really do, man. I like his tongue, dude. Oh. oh. Wow, he likes my tongue. I hate to say it. He likes my tongue. Are we talking about the looks of it or like he's got the best like palate? Or yeah, what are you talking about? What what was the criterion collection that made you fucking I just like the way that Kyle just I didn't even have to ask. He just let it hang out and he just left it there. And I okay. like the way that his tongue just kind of I fucking thought that this was about taste. Yeah, it I was. honestly did too. It was. It, it was till he saw that baby. And and then he saw your limp tongue and <laughs> it was. Adam, look at Adam is so mad he has to insult him He's already. already Loops back around. <laughs> I'm just confused right now. This is so typical. Adam's like, yeah, I mean your tongue, it's whatever. I mean it's got a weird thing in the middle. It's fine. It's fucking disgusting, but honestly, for like you guys have great dude tongues. You have really great dude tongues. Thank you. Right. I think I, like, are tongues unisex? I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of dude tongues. Tongues are unisex as fuck, bro. That can't be right. That, of course you have. <laughs> what did Blake say that is wrong? <laughs> what kind of life have you been living? You've never seen a dude tongue? Allegedly. I just haven't like really stared at a huh. dude's tongue. <laughs> well, what have now? you been doing? <laughs> Oh, what no, have you man. been doing with bro, your life, bro? I, I put the blinders on, man. As soon as okay. a dude sticks his tongue out, I fucking fucking close my eyes, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right on. I want, Rock and roll, man. Adam doesn't even know what to joke about. He's still so pissed. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you like my tongue over I Adam's. I'm, I'm pumped that mine beat out Adam's and Anders. I'm so mad, dude. Adam, Adam left the chat. Okay, but so who's got the best palate? <laughs> um... Yeah. Who has the yeah. finest? Who has the finest sense of taste? That's really hard. I feel like you guys. My tongue's the best. All just eat like fast food and shit. You like just. Well, I don't. <laughs> oh, he's angling. Adam. Adam. Adam's campaigning already. <laughs> he's Goodbye. angling so hard. Well, he's saying you all eat fast food and shit, and I okay. really don't. Okay. Yes, Adam. You know what? I <laughs> Whoa, you're gonna go there? I, I, I did go to In N Out for the first time in like five years last week. You did what? You had In N Out? Went to In N Out for the first time in like five years last week. But that's elevated. That's elevated. Yeah, but In N Out's It's fucking great. In N Out's hard to get go to. It's elevated. When's the last time you had like Shake Shack or something easy? It's always a big line. It's a big ass line. Oh. Uh, Damn, I haven't decade, had Shake maybe. Shack since fucking New York. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So damn. For every year you've gone without it, I've gone a ten a day. <laughs> it was a huh. ten days. For me it was a Tuesday. Let me just look at <laughs> Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Damn, bro. You stay at Shake Shack? That's really good. We gotta go on a burger tour. That's what we gotta do. That's a good drop. It's really good. Well, dude, we've talked did we touch on this? We touched on this, right? Me and you did in private, but should we? Should we oh, because what I saw you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I went to Mexico City for the premiere of At Midnight, and uh, we were airing exclusively on Paramount Plus. Yes. Great. What a great platform. Yeah. Um, get there. And we rode on the plane of <laughs> one of the get there. producers. Get there. <laughs> get there. And the uh, some of the producers had just done a burger crawl across LA. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, crawl and burger crawl. It. And I was like, shit, we so need you gotta to go to like father's office, Apple Pan. Wait, whoa. Ooh. Is this this is not multiple in a day though? This is like No, this was eight burger places in a day and they each had half a burger at each place oh my god no that's not that's not a good thing to do the way. and they got like a party bus and made it a fun thing that so is cool. i was like i don't think that's a good thing to do we need to do that on your plane and he was like yeah we oh. should you and the guys you and the guys should do the podcast live on the plane while we fly from city to city having the best burgers and i was like oh okay that's that's the show well yeah are you Ooh, serious though that's the show right there so this guy owns a plane that's you know how much fucking uh, yeah. gas that would <laughs> <God> <laughs> use up to go on the burger hop <laughs> no, do no, not no, ruin this for us kyle kyle <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> i'm not ruining it i'm just i'm curious <laughs> yeah yeah it's cool it's cool it's a burger hop <laughs> No, no, no. But what we would do is also we would make donations. It's electric. It's electric. Donations in the name of just don't fuck yes. burgers every <laughs> Yeah, shut up, Kyle. God, you ruined it, man. I'm so sorry. I just I really just got wrapped up in the science of it. All right. Hey Kyle, guess what? You don't have to go. Guy Fieri is gonna join us. Yeah. Oh, us and Guy Fieri? That but then we're losing the best tongue. Son of a bitch. No, no you boy, we're gaining a tongue. How great guy's yeah. tongue is. Oh, we're gaining a legendary tongue is how this all started. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're getting a better tongue if guys yeah. coming on board. I'll tell you that much. All right. You're getting a better tongue. Yeah. Okay. One of the best tongues. But anyway, can you can you imagine getting on a plane? To hitting get a San Diego, hitting Phoenix, going mm, up Phoenix. to where at like just Bop, 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 maybe making it two or three days. Oh, my God. That would be I insane. Four four burgers a day. Pizza, pizza. I love it. Dude, yeah, that would be make worth our, doing Make it. our way over to Germany, to Hamburg or something. Get the, like, All right. Like, whoop, whoop. Wait a minute. Whoop. Although I was just there whoop. in Germany, and whoop. I was thinking about making the, the trek to Hamburg to get the burger. Mm -hmm. And everyone's yeah. like... You'll be so disappointed. Really? Yeah, what? Yeah, 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 they're like absolutely not worth it. It's such Whoa. an American thing. You'll That's what just they be say like, about like. Yeah, this is fine. Cause we turn it up out here, boy. Hell yeah, we do. That's how we get. We really smash that burger. We turn it up. We play. We test this shit. But Berlin does have a great burger place called Burgermeister, which uh, I ate a few times while there. Where was? Where's that? In Germany. In in Berlin. Yeah, I don't they... know if it's like a a chain throughout all of Germany, but in Berlin specifically, there's like. Is this a fancy burger or is this a fast food yeah, style? How do, they, how do they dress it? How do they dress it? It's like a fast food, but it's like uh, the the place that I went. It was like in an old like, uh, Chew. like train station, <laughs> like a. It's yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, hut cool. underneath. Uh, yeah, so it, it was really cool. Yeah. So it's like lettuce, tomato, onion, Thousand Island. What are we talking? Thousand Island. He's in Germany, player. I don't know. They. I don't know. They do. They don't think they. I don't think they do Thousand Island in Germany, bro. Bullshit, I think you'd be bro. lucky to get some mayo out there, Playboy. Yeah. No, I don't think there was any Thousand Island. Yeah, what? It was, it was, I believe it was mayonnaise specific. Ooh, onions and mayo. <laughs> I think you'd be lucky to get mayo, right? They don't have special sauce out there in Germany? I feel like it would be dry. I'm I'm assuming they do, <laughs> but I don't, I, you know, I don't know. The... the Thousand Island is just, it's fine on a burger. What? It's, That's a special sauce. I'm a classic ketchup and, and, and mustard guy. Oh. Yeah, me too, Adam. What? I'm with you there. I don't really like this. I'm with I'm with Adam on that. What? Uh, yeah. To you, that special, Blake. To you, that special. Uh, no, bro. You got to get the spread. It's just a little sloppy. The, the Thousand Island's just a little sloppy. I don't like that part. It's not, the, the taste isn't I'm, worth it to me. It, over, it overpowers the burger sometimes. You guys yeah. are out of your mind. It's the glub. No, you, no it's like the glub. Yeah. Like, I don't really want a, a ton of glub on my burger. What are you talking? You eat, you eat grilled cheese, bro. You ain't even eating burgers out here with your tongue ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, save that shit for the corner, dude. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, dude, epic slam. Save that for the epic slam at the end. Oh. <laughs>
Goodbye. Oh, my God. oh okay. <laughs> oh, with your tongue ass. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Wow. Yeah, you crossed the line. <laughs> yeah, man, huh. you talk shit on special sauce. I'm gonna fire at you, dude. I just, yeah. I just don't Rude. need it. It's all, it's all good. Fire away, fire away, <laughs> fire away, my liege. <laughs> But there, Adam, Adam's right. Adam's right. Fire away. Fire away. I do think that like the great equalizer of like ketchup, mustard, lettuce, onions. If you want to put on tomato on there, just like classic. Who can make the classic burger the best? You gotta put tomato on. We're talking the Jimmy Buffett cheeseburger in paradise burger. Don't a do pickle, that. Right. Don't do Cold that. glass of beer. I like mine with lettuce and tomato. Yep. Uh, Heinz fifty seven and French fried <laughs> potatoes. Are you rapping? Uh, uh, it's a, it's, why was that on? Yeah. Why did that rhyme? And why was that on rhythm? It's Jimmy Buffett. It's I. It's Jimmy Buffett. It's the cheeseburger in paradise. That's what Blake's saying. Like cheeseburger in paradise, paradise. What is the rest of it? I can't do the rest. I will say, when you're in paradise, put some pineapple on a burger. Real good. I like mine with lettuce and tomato. With lettuce and tomato. We'll see. Do you like that song? Do you like that song more than Girls by Beastie Boys? <laughs> Heinz 57 and French fried potatoes. A big kosher pickle and a Colbert. <laughs> uh, Blake? Good God Almighty, which, which way, way do way? I steer to a cheeseburger in paradise? Cheeseburger in paradise. Paradise. No, I think gir Girls goes harder in the club, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, and and it's all about for you. It's I thought that went hard. What's happening in the club? Yeah, man, come on, you know I'm a DJ, bro. <laughs> yeah, if I know anything about Blake, it's he's always in clubs. He's always about to be in a club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bottle service, bro. Come on, man. I love it. I like that. That's cool, man. Good job, man. All right. Good job. And this was. <laughs> I mean, how long has it been? Uh, 34 ish, 33 minutes, something like that. The dog days. We're just getting there, huh? Yo, well, really? okay. I can maybe pivot a really? little bit. You were talking about private planes, and I saw on Instagram came up. Did you see, Adam, your, your squad, the Clippers? Did you yep. see what happened? Yeah, they were hit by lightning. They said their plane was hit by lightning while they mm -hmm. were flying. Whoa. That is fucking. What the fuck happens, Kyle? You, Kyle, your turn. Go story. Go off. <laughs> okay, Dude. is everybody okay? Did How it, like kill the engines or what? Uh, I think they're cool. Uh, I hope it's. I how tight would it be if they all like had like super basketball powers? Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. Space Jam Three. Yeah, like they're just playing Unreal. Admittedly, they've just won three in a row since it happened. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So when when we're recording this, we'll see. We, you know, it's I think it'll be playoffs by the time this airs. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Damn, we're marching <laughs> our way towards victory because <laughs> of the magical lightning strike. That's cool. <laughs> Zeus threw his lightning bolt. Oh, that's so scary. What is the most um like treacherous flight you guys have ever been on? I hate. Dude, I know mine. I know mine. Hate turbulence. Uh, I know mine too. Isaac was with me. What? What? I know mine. Yeah. We were, we were flying to Chicago to do some like commercial that never aired. Actually, I think somebody like leaked it the other day. It's so Ooh. bad. They're like, so here's the script. Are you re you sing it like an R and B singer? I was like, okay. <laughs> You're like, how much am I are you paying me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. But then I mean it was a grip, actually, for back then. And Oh yeah. Then they go, We don't have like a mic or the recording didn't work. So then I had to like re-record it and like lip sync to myself and i was already over it and it was already paid and i was like all right anyway yes, yes. the flight there and isaac Perfect. are you there to just give a thumbs up do you remember this flight i think he told me about this flight he's at his kids water polo turn terminate yeah yes i am Tournament. here <laughs> dude we were shook and we looked at each other like is this what happens when you just take that bag when you're like yeah i'll fly to chicago to do a dumbass samsung commercial or whatever right I mean, I thought like the devil was about to snatch me up. Really? You thought you were dead? Fuck, dude. What was it, what was it? just like mm, drop? <laughs> Points? I mean, I'm holding. There it is. Yeah. Was it mad, mad tur turbulence or what? Yes. And like, uh, everyone's drinks spill on them. I hold mine like yeah. this, and I'm for real holding it like. 
down and we dropped so much that it's fully extended. I'm trying to like uh, steady no. cam this fucker. Yeah. And we drop yeah, it. Yeah, and I just take go, the whoop, and I'm like, <laughs> and I look over at Isaac and he's just like white knuckled, like texting. I think I might have texted Emma to be like, Hey, um, I love you. No, <laughs> I think so. That's wow, what Isaac. That's nuts. what Isaac told me is like you were on the line. Well, I thought it was like a phone that you put your credit card in to try and call her or something. But you were getting. Maybe that was it. Oh, so that you guys were flying in 1992. Yeah, Sick. that's pretty. I cool. mean, this was 2000. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe my uh, my story of it. <laughs> my story was. <laughs> This was 2010, 11. You put your cigarette out and you call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah my, I, I'm in a different time period. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put my smoke out real quick and call. Yeah, yeah the the stewardess brought you a rotary phone. Yes. Uh, you might want to call your wife. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what's yeah, Isaac saying? We're going to sacrifice you to the cloud god. <laughs> Isaac says, goes, yes, I'm here. The worst. You were on your iPad. So maybe a new iPad, and I was okay, like... Okay, okay. The yeah, first iPad that. ever, dude, you had the... <laughs> The it freak. was freaky, and then and then what? It just settled. It just and then it was chill. You, yeah, and you were all back to normal. Yeah, I, I and someone was just like, "You you gonna be okay, bitch?" <laughs> yeah, someone's like pussy, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Dad." Well, why don't you cry about it? Wait, so no, no, everybody didn't just immediately start fucking each other? That was always <laughs> what I thought would happen. Right, right. That's how you know when it's yeah, really going like, to happen. It's like, all right, we're going down. Hey, we're we're living. <laughs> Everyone just leaves their spouses and just starts fucking the person next to them. Is right. that what you think is going to happen? Yeah. Dude, we're going down. We're going down. Isaac, start sucking my dick, dude. That's the that's the saddest sketch ever. The one guy who's like, me? No? Okay. Well, do you want to? No? Anybody? Fuck. Uh, what, what's our altitude? Okay, we're, we're falling. Uh, somebody, please. Uh, we're mine was, my uh, worst flight ever was... There was an, we were cruising and it was going fine. And then the, the pilot's like, we need to take an emergency landing. Uh, uh, I got a shit. For some, no, someone yeah. was Diarrhea. like having a stroke. And the person that was having a stroke was directly behind me. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Like kicking your chair. And uh, yeah, That's and they're so freaking annoying. out. <laughs> and then, uh, the, so they're, they're, we're taking the emergency uh, landing. Right. Then someone's, the uh, stewardess is bringing coffee. Flight attendant. And <laughs> to someone, or, like, kitty corner from me, one one row up. And all of a sudden we hit nasty turbulence, mm -hmm. and she dumped a whole coffee on this <laughs> fucking boy. man. Oh. And it was the wildest. And then we had the worst turbulence ever the entire she way. She dumped it on the stroke guy or on yes. you? No, the, uh, no, another man oh who was sitting God. right next to the stroke Ooh. guy. Oh, I thought it was a stroke guy. Damn, that was just a comedy of errors going on. Yeah, it was, was like just stroking out. Yeah. Bang. I thought and then we were like in the faulty worst. towers. It was like we had to take an emergency landing through the worst storm ever right. to to land for this guy, you know. And yeah. uh, that's what we had to do. But it was hard. Damn! As soon as she spills that coffee, I'm fucking who's ever next to me, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> like just grabbing, <laughs> grabbing an orifice. Dude, you're we're going, going down. down. That makes sense, oh dude. I, that makes sense. Lake's just grabbing. It, grabbing a hole and going for it. Yeah. If you're going to go down, <laughs> fucking rock and roll, baby. We're going down. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> down, down. I mean, you guys have flown to Hawaii, right? You flown to Hawaii, it's a mess every time. Oh, yeah? You go yeah. to Hawaii. Oh, yeah. And like, uh, I when I was filming up. there, Sorry. Emma came to visit and she was like, oh my God, the plane was crazy. It was really scary. And then when she landed, <laughs> Uh, there was another plane before her yeah. where people got fucking tossed around. Somebody's thermos like went through the ceiling. Jesus. Uh, like, you know, the, the fucking <laughs> Yeti or whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn. Those things are heavy as fuck, by the way. Exactly. But people those got tossed. Weapons. I want to, I don't think anybody died, but like people got fucking cook well, what? Oh, they got what popped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. that, I mean, <laughs> dude, uh, my scariest is on a small plane. Because when you go to like, oh yeah, dude, yeah, 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 fuck that. When you go to Costa Rica, I remember we were on like regular airliners, and then we had to get onto this like puddle jumper that right. was like mm. a, it felt like a prop Great plane. Movie. Like I can't remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't. It probably was. If, I think it was, dude. Yeah. And the the the, <laughs> the fucking the the rain was coming in. The clouds were th describe the wings, and I, I can tell thick as fuck. 
And <laughs> and what's weird about that is like, did were there little whirly gigs on the side? <laughs> <laughs> there, it was a Wright Brothers. It was the first plane from okay. 1916 or whatever. <laughs> That's dope, dude. That's dope. But you know when turbulence, like when you're going down and up and all that mm. on a regular uh. one, when you're on a small plane, you start to feel it going side to side, like the tails. Oh yeah. No. No. The, so it goes down and spins, and down, and it's just fucked <laughs> up, dude. Kyle's just like this, flying sideways. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. Dude, it's scary. Those small planes, that's the scariest situations I've been in. Because the for big you. planes, for whatever reason, I trust them. I just think they're not going down. <laughs> you know? Of course. They're not. They usually don't. You need to stop. You need to stop trusting them because the fucking airlines. So I don't want to get into it, but you need to stop. I mean, they're crashing into each other now. Did you start fucking the guy next to you? Like when it are they? What's happened? Yeah, happened? Kyle, on this two seater plane, did you yeah. immediately start fucking the captain or <laughs> <laughs> the person next to you? Or dude, I jumped. I jumped up in the cockpit, and you know what I did. He was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I did. Show me that tongue, bro. <laughs> if we start driving, I need you to grab this stick and pull it up." <laughs> ah, oh. Let me see that creased tongue, bro. Yeah. Fold that baby in half. I know it can fold. I know we were supposed to land in Costa Rica, but I'm about to send you to Flavor Town, boy. <laughs> <laughs> get him. <laughs> get him. Yeah. Show get me that Blake. tongue. Hey, get him, Blake. <laughs> Blake's on a comedy roll today. Durs, you and I were on a flight together when that that uh, female rapper. Yeah. Um, uh, what was her name? No. Uh, a something Banks. Azealia Banks. Azealia Banks. Were you on the flight? Yeah. Were all of us? Were, were we all on the flight? Yes. That yeah, was amazing. I was not on this flight. No, but I remember Durst talking about that. She's a she's a handful. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it was just me and you for whatever reason. And she straight up got in a fist fight. Coming coming back from the intern premiere? Mm, go off. Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, didn't you guys come back? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's Hollywood minute. And there was a guy. <laughs> there was. A, oh yeah, the bitch. <laughs> she was trying to get off, uh, much like Blake. Uh, when there's a. Yeah, much like Blake. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all are. When you think you're going down, <laughs> when there's a turbulence. Yeah, we had a little turbulence, and he had to get off. <laughs> if you think yeah. you're going down, you got to get off. She stood up and was like trying to go, but the guy in front of her was busy like getting stuff down, and she was kind of assuming he could move aside so she could go, but he was like, no. And by the way, I'm on his side. When I see people going <laughs> yeah. past. That's not how it works. I know. You wait for your row. Yeah, you just wait your turn. You just wait. No. It's not that big of a deal. Unless unless the person is sitting there and like bypassing and they're like, you know what? I want to wait because I've had I've seen some old people that are like, I don't want to go yeah. right now. Yeah. And it's like that's yeah, chill. For sure. And also if the plane is empty and you're Fuck the only them. person and you're in the way back, then yeah. Uh any other scenarios? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's. I just I'm wanted to make sure that we were we were making those carving those out. Look, okay? if, if you're in a hurry and you got somewhere to go, you Thank ask you. the flight attendant to make an announcement. Yeah. Everyone stays seating while you get up and you jet and you catch your flight or whatever. Yeah, Anders but, has to film yes. a movie. It's yeah, a that's right. That's how you do it. <laughs> this dude's not young. He's taking. Yeah. Hey, I have to film a movie in a week and a half. I need to get off this flight first. <laughs> Can I go? <laughs> Bing. So this dude's not young. He's not too quick. And she's uh -huh. not thrilled. Mm -hmm. And he like Puppy. makes a face at her and it's over. <laughs> she makes a face right back and just starts like mouthing off and, and like really getting into it. And yes. then he is mouthing off back and then she just starts to fucking push him over this like yes. this like 60 70 year old guy <laughs> yeah it was wild it got violent that's yeah. fucking cool i'm on it, her side and then she like moved through <laughs> with her bags uh, basically like dragging them against him and, I, and i'm just like <laughs> Uh, yeah it, it was wild yeah. i had no idea who the hell she was and then all of a sudden it was like Durs kind of knew who she was and then it was like oh. later uh I'm a fan. Yeah, she's fire. <laughs> she's rock and roll. And then later it was like on all TMZ and shit. Like it was yes. all over the place. Yes. Did you ever I... scrub the footy and see if you guys were in the BG? <laughs> <laughs> uh no. You know, it must have been yeah, somebody dude. in front of me because it was from my angle. <laughs> oh, really? 
That would be tight if you guys are in the BG or the FG of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that would be of the footy after uh, the scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, let's put let's put that on let's put that on the fucking Insta, bro. Well, if what's you're funny, in the BG. I remember getting on the plane and she got on and knew somebody a few rows behind her. And she was just like, oh, no, this cunt is not on my plane. And starts, like, yeah. saying words super loud that, like, generally you're not going to say on an airplane right. because kids, public, whatever. And she was just going off. I'm like, yeah, yeah I guess if you're Azalea Banks, you're, you're pretty rock and roll. You don't give a fuck. Yeah, and then this just, like, solidified fuck. it. And then, like, the flight attendant had to get, like, up in the business and she stormed past. And then I think the police had to catch up with her. What? Damn, you might want yeah. to scrub the footy. See if you're check BG, TMZ, bro. bro. See if you're walking. I mean, the two one two was not having it. Damn, dude. Azalea's. Tight. What are you into, dude? I'm down for her. Yeah, she's. I'm a ruin you cut. <laughs> <laughs> that song goes. Uh, and what do you like? What do you like that about? What do you like about her, Blake? Uh, she's just very original. She's just very her. She yeah, just does not give a who fuck. she is. I like people who you know. But she is problematic. I do feel like she is problem. Or like, yeah, really rude, really yeah. mean to people, assault a man. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's rock star, isn't it? Isn't that what like real rock star is? Is not give one f about the environment around you. Uh, I don't know. I think around you. I, I think Bono really likes the environment, bro. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> I think you can. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, and I take it back. I've got my take back, so don't you worry about it. I'm a. <laughs> yeah, I think he's like kind of a champion of that thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think there. I I know a handful of rock stars, and we've all met very nice rock stars. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to be that way. You, you can just be like a cool. Wait, I'm person. sorry. I fucked up. The old guy was Bono. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Oh, yeah. oh, and I was wondering why you were leaving that out. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that's weird, dude. She was like, "Fuck you, Bono." <laughs> what a great, great flight. That Bono pushed Banks over the edge. <laughs> I mean, in that case, maybe I would be pro her. I'd be like, "Well, that's kind of tight." She just is fucking with Bono, right? By Flexing way, on Bono. Yeah. If you're not, and I'm sorry to get all inside here, but okay. Hollywood Minute. If you're not from <laughs> Hollywood Minute. If you're not from LA or New York <laughs> and you don't fly back and forth between LA and New York a lot, here he goes. You're missing out on a wonderful thing, which is sitting <laughs> being on an airplane with tons of famous people. Yeah, there you go. It's Just always okay. fucking sick. Well, yeah. you probably did that more than any of us because you've done what, like two shows now and a movie, and you fly back two movies and a show, and I flew Wait. I flew back a bunch for the show, and you fly back damn near every weekend, right? Hold on, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, that's a lot of flights. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hollywood <laughs> minute. Um, I got on a plane that who's was, on the plane? It was like everyone from um Schitt's Creek. Everyone from Schitt's Creek heard okay. of it. Oh Hell yeah, yeah. damn Hell love yeah. Eugene Levy. Damn, I would love for that fucking That's plane to go good... down because I'd be fucking that cast, bro. I mean, they got up and did a routine. Uh, <laughs> Wait, all Blake, of them. You want it to go down? So, oh, so you can fuck them. Oh, well, he wants it to uh, start to go down okay. so he can fuck Matt Turner. Oh, it oh, yeah. gets better. Eugene Levy's <laughs> dick, bro. It gets yeah. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now we're speaking. <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones and Michael Douglas. Okay, Ooh, very nice, very nice. That's, that's she dips beneath lasers. <laughs> Whoa, elite level. I've never, I've never seen anyone that famous on a flight. And, and that's a whoopap. And wait, 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 wait. That's an ultimate whoopap. And Q-tip the abstract. Oh my oh, god, dude. mother man! I left my phone in my seat, and he was like, "Oh, yo, is this yours?" And I was like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Q-tip gave you your phone? Yeah, it's, I peaked. That is fucking trill, dude. Dude, he saved your butt. He saved your butt. But the the flying New York to LA is always you. You see people and you're like, oh, I this. think the most I saw like celebrities, what which is happening this weekend that we're recording this is going to South by. We will mm. always be on planes with like hella random like right. musicians and stuff. Like I remember being on a plane with ASAP Rocky. That was dope. Mm -hmm. Just sharing this the air, you know? Just sharing the air with these people. Hollywood! <laughs> and he's somewhere right now being like, one time I was on an airplane with uh, Blake Sanderson. 
from jerking small dicks. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, we were in the movie Dope together, so we went to Sundance together, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm sticking to my story. <laughs> oh, okay. And he, yeah, yeah, and he remembers. Fuck, ASAP, you guys are in a uh, movie together. <laughs> Maybe. No, dude, me and ASAP are cool, bro. We're cool, dude. Come on. All right. Hey, hey, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> you better take it back. Wait a second. Hey, dude. Yeah, you're working hard I for it. it. I believe yeah. you. You know, you I want believe- it, you got it. We got to talk. You just reminded me that ASAP was at the Oscars. And what? Oh, the Oscars. I know that the Oscars were weeks ago when this is going to be dropping. They were months ago. Months. <laughs> months. <laughs> we got to talk about the fact that Wayman. I'm like, is Wayman at these Oscars or what? I don't know. I didn't see him, man. I didn't see him. I also didn't see him. Mm. I'm so pissed. He should have been there. I I ate lunch next to the Daniels uh, the other day, the guys that directed. That's what our our lawyer told me, though. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say what's up? Uh, Yeah, I did. And uh, (laughs) they were signing a contract with Jeff. Our lawyer. I forgot that their lawyer is also our lawyer. I didn't know. And I turned and looked at him and said, Hollywood. (laughs) Uh, But I I forget the name of the restaurant, but it was like, uh, I bet. Spago. Chateau. <laughs> Spago, baby. Let <laughs> Mr. <Mister> Chow. <Spago. laughs> no, no. It, it was it was it was like the most hipstery place in in uh, uh what's that fucking neighborhood where all the hipsters live? Silver Lake? Not Silver Lake, the Echo other Park? one. Eagle Echo Rock. Par- uh-huh. Okay, Echo Park, I believe. Is it Echo or Eagle? Is Eagle, Eagle? Eagle Park. Eagle yeah. Park, Echo Rock. I don't fucking remember, but it was it was tight, and it was cool seeing those guys, and they just won all the uh, Academy Awards. All of them. Good for they them. Did. They, yeah, did. they, they did. They did. They did. They swept it. Weird, yeah. cool movie. Yeah. They brought it home, baby. We're hyped on that. Got the attention. Uh, any take backs, apologies, epic slams? Yeah, um, I'm going to um, slam the Daniels. I'm going to slam the Daniels for... I know you had an epic slam uh, earlier, Blake. Did you want to? <laughs> okay, wait. Dur's about to slam. Duh, Ooh. duh, duh. Come on, what do you got to slam on? Uh, let's hear it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Slam the Daniels. Okay, let's see if it's... Let's... I'm going to slam the Daniels for not giving Wayman like a huge shout out for basically saving their movie. <laughs> I'm pissed now! He's right. I will stand by that because they should have had Wayman. <laughs> Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is the name of their movie. I don't know if we said that. Oh, yeah. But uh, that is the name. Everything, of the... Everywhere, All at, at Wayman is what it at should Wayman. be. Yes, and Wayman is in the movie. He has close-ups. Yes. Yeah. He was kind of the star of the film, that and the Volvo. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and the red Volvo, the maroon mm-hmm. Volvo. And the yep. bagel, of course. And, mm-hmm. of course, it's a bagel. <laughs> yep. it's, it's a, a bagel. bagel. Uh, it's a I bagel. would just love to take back the fact that uh, I spoke bad about Bono in some way, but um, I just... Mm-hmm. And Captain Lou Albano. Yeah. <laughs> All the... Ba- Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> Albano. Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> I want to make him one. <laughs> If Bono puts rubber bands in his beard, <laughs> I want to make him one person and give him a big old hug. Captain Lou Albano, you are my starship, and I love you. And I take back whatever bad words I said about either of you bros. Okay. It was for entertainment's sake only, nice. and that's that's what it is. Great, great. It's true. It's good It's good radio. It's good radio. Favorite U2 song, Blazer? Nice. What um, am I taking back? What ooh, am I taking back? That's a great Whoa! question. Oh, what's that? In the name of love. Yeah. Bloody Sunday. Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> I like Bloody Sunday. He doesn't. He's <laughs> never listened to them in his life. I, I do not know what's yeah. happening right now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he just stops talking. Yeah. <laughs> you are so dumb. Yeah, huge, huge fan. Huge fan. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, Blake, what is your favorite song? <laughs> My favorite U2 song? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, dude. Okay. Because uh, he doesn't listen to them, though. I do listen to U2. Do you guys have any U2 songs you like? I know mine, and I don't even listen to them, really. What is yours? Bloody Sunday. I think it's called, like, Until the End of the World. Okay, okay. well, you think. Yeah. But is it? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't fuck with U2 that hard. But anytime I hear a U2 song, I'm usually like, yeah, this is a good song. Yeah. Hey, what about? Uh, but I'm, I don't go out of my way to listen to U2. It's a beautiful day. That's a good track. That's that's I'm like turn it up. By the way, the thing about you too, you don't 
the thing about YouTube is you don't have to go out of your way. They're like they're gonna be on the radio somewhere. Like, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna play it. Yeah, no, I yeah. love YouTube. YouTube rocks. On my classic Jack. Okay, I love it. It's not even a song for me. It's just like albums, dude. Like, oh. boy, it's the vibe. Album? You're on that. Yeah. They're on that level, dude. The jewel, the jewel yeah, case dude. itself. Yeah, boy, Joshua Tree. Like, yeah, the yeah. albums just go. It's not even about solo songs. They just and what songs yeah. on Joshua Tree do you like? I don't know, man. It's the album for me. It's a whole okay. experience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kyle, you got one? You got I get that. I totally I totally understand what you're saying about it's the album for you. It's I got album. the same thing yeah. with like fucking Grateful Dead, bro. It yeah, ain't a bro. song, it's, it's the, the album. Albums. It's yeah. the vibe, it's the level. Uh, except for way different than the Grateful Dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way more like singles. Yeah. And Allegedly. Hits. No, but I mean like I'm not going to pick the song because yeah. it is the album. The whole yeah. experience is what it is. Yeah. And he's not gonna pick the song because he doesn't know the song. Thank you, Kyle. I love your tongue, Kyle. Yeah. I love your tongue. And I'm gonna Yeah, and my tongue is good. And yeah. my tongue is good and it's better than Adam's. <laughs> this is why I fuck with your tongue, bro. <laughs> Mommy, my tongue is good. That's hey, that's fine. I see I see how hey, you buddy. guys work. You guys tag team each other when you're calling some right. dumb shit. <laughs> I like Kyle's tongue. Guys... I like his ears. I like his eyes. These guys are yeah, tag teaming uh... like the plane is going down. <laughs> hey. We should wrap this up so you guys could go fuck. I have a great tongue. And that was another episode of... Will these Will. guys fuck? This, this is important. important. Oh, this is an interesting thing. I love your tongue. <laughs>